spiritual development plays an important part in the making of the United States Marine. Lieutenant Brian J. McCreer, Chaplain Corps, United States Navy, will deliver the graduation prayer. Ladies and gentlemen, please rock. Let us pray. Gracious one, we are grateful that you will never leave us nor forsake us, and for the strength your presence provides to us. For it was you who told us, when you go out against your enemies, do not be afraid, for I am with you. We are thankful today for these new Marines, for their perseverance. Fear not, new Marines, for you are part of the finest fighting force on earth, forged in fire, surrounded by the most capable warriors, and accompanied always by a holy presence. We are thankful today for families and friends, for their love and support. Fear not, families and friends of these new Marines, for your freedoms and your lives are forever protected by these brave men, first to fight, most ready when the nation is least ready. We are thankful today for the drone instructors, for their leadership, discipline, and sacrifice. We thank them for instilling in these Marines honor, courage, and commitment values that forever remain woven into the fabric of every Marine. You prepared these men to be guardians of this great nation. Fear not, drill instructors, for you made the Marines. Fear not, great nation of ours, for your protection lies in good hands. We fear not, for we know, O great one, that you go with us always. Amen. Thank you. Please be seated. The Commanding General, Marine Corps Recruit Depot San Diego, welcomes you to what is an historic event in the life of a Marine, their graduation from boot camp. Approximately 40 weeks each year for the past 99 years, new Marines have departed San Diego for service with units of the Marine Corps around the globe. The primary mission of the Recruit Depot is to provide basic training to recruits enlisted west of the Mississippi. The depot is also home to recruiter school and drill instructor school. All our efforts here are geared towards one end, producing America's finest fighting force, the United States Marines. This morning, Company K, 3rd Recruit Training Battalion, Recruit Training Regiment, will form and march in the parade. Following the passing review, the graduating Marines will return front and center of the reviewing stand for final dismissal. The staff for today's parade is comprised of Marines from the Recruit Training Regiment. The commander of troops is First Sergeant Francisco Velasquez, Company First Sergeant, Company K, 3rd Recruit Training Battalion. The parade adjutant is Staff Sergeant Rudy Rodriguez, Drill Instructor, Company K, 3rd Recruit Training Battalion. The marching units are now being called to attention, and the adjutant's command, sound adjutant's call, will begin today's parade. to produce basic Marines, who function effectively in garrison, are trained in rudimentary individual field and combat skills, and practice the personal professional traits, which distinguish them as Marines. Examples of these traits are Discipline The achievement of a state of discipline, which assures respect for authority, instant and willing obedience supporters, and the self-reliance to maintain or improve those traits which exemplify a Marine. Military bearing, consistently demonstrating military presence and personal awareness, as well as the proper wearing and maintenance of uniforms. 
a spirited corps. Acquiring the common spirit of the Marine Corps that inspires enthusiasm, devotion, pride, initiative, teamwork, aggressiveness, determination, moral courage, integrity, camaraderie, and the burning desire to work with and for others towards excellence in common goals. For 244 years, Marines have fought and won whenever and wherever the nation calls. In the harshest conditions, over the most brutal terrain, and against the most formidable enemies, Marines defend the ideals of freedom with grit and tenacity. Though battlefields change and capabilities evolve, history proves that true victory comes from the individual Marine with skilled resolve. The drive to overcome any obstacle, and the warrior spirit to fight on against all odds. It takes that steadfast faithfulness, separate fidelis, to core, country, and each other that abounds throughout our storied legacy. Marines today remain in combat, forward deployed throughout the world, confronting every challenge with courage, loyalty, and faithfulness. They are resolved to be most ready when the nation is least ready to defend freedom anytime and anywhere. To stand ready to aid those devastated by natural disasters. To pay tribute to those who have forged our proud legacy and to honor the families and loved ones who faithfully stand beside us. For the Marines of Company K, Today marks the end of the 14-week recruit training cycle. They have marched countless miles at Camp Pendleton and on this parade day, and have been trained, as are all Marines, as basic riflemen. In addition, due to an intensive physical training program, their strength and endurance have doubled since their arrival aboard the recruit depot. They are Marines, qualified to take their places in the ranks of the world's finest fighting organization. are now being aligned from left to right in order to get them into their exact positions for the parade.
The next portion of the ceremony will be the presentation of the colors. Ladies and gentlemen, please rise and remain standing for the playing of our national anthem. Ladies and gentlemen, our national anthem. Thank you. Please be seated. Following the command, parade rest. The parade adjutant will give the command sound off, which signals the band to parade forward of the assembled marines while playing military marching music.
the parade action now presents the assembled command to the commander of troops. Command, Officer Center March. All unit commanders and guide on bearers march to the front and center of the formation. Historically, it was at this point that commanding officers would issue orders and instructions to the unit commanders. Following this, the unit leaders would face about, return to their units, and pass the information along to their Marines.
ladies and gentlemen, the Battalion Commander for 3rd Recruit Training Battalion, Lieutenant Colonel Anthony P. Berlin. I 
know the last thing on your mind was graduation. You were probably thinking, what in the heck have I got myself into? And how do I get them to stop yelling at me? But you had a lot to learn. And many challenges to overcome and many miles to run. And you did. And you stand here today as America's newest Marines. And we're proud of you. But you should be proud of yourself. Because you can even attempt what you've accomplished. And when you eventually get home, people will notice the difference. Your friends will look up to you. And when they ask you how you did it, because they will, make sure you introduce them to your recruiter. Because your drill instructors cannot wait to meet your friends. But you must always remember but with this new title comes new responsibility. The key strength of our Marine Corps is not found in our weapons or equipment, but in the strength, character, and warfighting spirit of the individual Marine. That's what matters most in combat, and that's what sets us apart. So remember that and hold on to it. For the legacy of our war, of not only first to fight, but to always win our nation's battle, belongs to you now for safekeeping. Because the world is a dangerous and chaotic place. And that's why we have you. So always remember, that eagle globe and anchor we placed in your hands on top of the reaper, represents 245 years of Marines that have come before us. And you must always endeavor to be worthy of that legacy and protect what you've earned. So on behalf of the officers, the drill instructors, and support personnel here at Marine Corps Recruit Depot San Diego, it's my privilege to be the first to wish you fair winds and following seas, Semper Fidelis Marines, and welcome to our Corps. Now taking their position in the reviewing area is today's parade reviewing official, First Sergeant Ricky Broadway. He is accompanied by Sergeant Major Eric C. Ramirez, Battalion Sergeant Major, 3rd Recruit Training Battalion, Recruit Training Regiment. First Sergeant Broadway enlisted in the Marine Corps on October 17, 2005, and attended recruit training aboard Marine Corps Recruit Depot, San Diego, California. After graduating recruit training, he attended Marine Combat Training at Camp Pendleton, California, and went on to attend his military occupational specialty school at Camp Johnson, North Carolina. There, he completed the basic logistics embarkations course graduating with a Military Occupational Specialty 0431 Embarkation Specialist. First Sergeant Broadway has served in a variety of challenging buildings in numerous commands to include serving as Drill Instructor, Senior Drill Instructor, and Chief Drill Instructor for Companies G and F, 2nd Recruit Training Battalion, Marine Corps Recruit Depot, San Diego, California. G4 Mobility Chief for Marine Wing Headquarters Squadron, 3rd Marine Aircraft Wing, Mar Miramar, California. Future Operations Chief for Headquarters Regiment, 3rd Marine Logistics Group, Okinawa, Japan. 
Company First Sergeant, Burt Engineer Maintenance Company, and General Support Maintenance Company, 3rd Marine, 3rd Maintenance Battalion, 3rd Marine Logistics Group, Okinawa, Japan. In August 2019, First Sergeant Broadway served as a Company First Sergeant for Company M, 3rd Recruit Training Battalion, Recruit Training Regiment, Marine Corps Recruit Depot, San Diego, California. In January 2021, First Sergeant Broadway attended Senior Enlisted Professional Military Education in Quantico, Virginia. Upon his return from the course, he transferred to Support Training Battalion, where he currently serves as a Special Training Company First Sergeant. First Sergeant Broadway's personal awards include the Navy and Marine Corps Commendation Medal with three gold stars in lieu of fourth award, and the Navy and Marine Corps Achievement Medal with three gold stars in lieu of fourth award. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome First Sergeant Ricky Broadway. More than a million Marines have been trained here in the past 99 years and have departed San Diego for combat in conflicts around the world, including places whose names are immediately associated with Marine courage and dedication. Names such as Guadalcanal, Toro, Iwo Jima, Busan, Incheon, Chosen Reservoir, Quezon, Way City, Lebanon, Grenada, Panama, Kuwait, Somalia, Fallujah, Iraq, Martian, Afghanistan, and our most current operations worldwide. This parade day is rich in history and tradition, and no Marine trade here ever forgets its sights and sounds. Ladies and gentlemen, as a national flag passes directly in front of you, please rise. Once it passes, you may be seated. Ladies and gentlemen, the Commander of Troops, First Sergeant Francisco Velasquez, Company First Sergeant, and the Regiment of Staff. Marine Band San Diego, Marine Corps Recruit Depot, San Diego, California.
instructor, Sergeant Tyler J. Oldenkamp. Recruit training is a 
very foundation of the court. Each year, the group training provides thousands of Americans, finest young men and women, with the basic knowledge and skills to function in a profession characterized by its own set of high values and tough standards. The most important thing we do in the Marine Corps is make Marines. The individual Marine is the core. That is what we do here. For the Marines graduating today, the long, arduous journey of the last 14 weeks is but a small step into the future of the Marine Corps. As they prepare to fill the ranks of our Corps, they do so with unquestionable support for the high ideals and standards of the United States of America and the United States Marine Corps. Although Company K prepares for their final dismissal from boot camp today, their initial training is not over. Soon after graduation, they will report to the School of Industry, Camp Pendleton, California, where they will continue to be trained to serve as an effective member of a Marine Rifle Squad. The intense initial training that every Marine undergoes is designed to instill the fundamental premise that every Marine is a rifle. Ladies and gentlemen, at this time, we would like to introduce to you the Marines responsible for ensuring the success of the difficult transition required to become a Marine. The company commander is Major Thomas W. Tolston. The company first sergeant is First Sergeant Francisco Velasquez. Ladies and gentlemen, please join me in a round of applause for the company staff of Company K. The next portion of the ceremony will be the traditional function of retiring the guidons. The guidons have been carried by the platoons throughout recruit training and are being retired to symbolize the disbanding of platoon. All similar units in the Marine Corps carry such guidelines which identify the unit and are a source of pride to each individual member. Note that the honor of carrying these guidelines is bestowed upon those Marines who display outstanding leadership qualities, motivation and character, and were selected as a platoon honor graduate. The platoon honor graduates then compete for the titles of series and company honor graduates. They are considered the top Marines graduating today.
First Sergeant will now give the command to the senior drone instructors to dismiss their platoons. Needless to say, this will be the most welcome command they have received throughout recruit training. Senior drone instructors, dismiss your platoons! 